Yamashita's short-lived playoff run may be over, but for some fans today, brought more joy than any Super Bowl ever could. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is here to show us why one fan will cherish today's game for the rest of her life. Lifelong fans will likely remember this 46-yard touchdown pass from Lynn Dawson to capture the team's first and only Super Bowl in 1970. One of those lifelong fans who remembers that play is our new friend, Betty. And to her, believe it or not, even though it was a loss, today's Chiefs game will forever top anything Lynn Dawson did 46 years ago. As Chiefs fans engulfed power and light this evening, and cheers grew louder, there was one X factor shining from all the rest. It's just been an awesome day. 86 year old Betty Conrad has been a fan since the team's inception. She has no family, is terminally ill, and left hospice today just so she could watch her Chiefs. And I don't have many days left. I want to make the most of what I have left. We asked our patients if tomorrow were the last day, how would you want to spend that day? For Betty, the answer was simple. Because they're my team. No question the peculiar Missouri native got the celebrity treatment today. A stadium tour. Her own cheerleaders. Even a meeting with former players. We've never taken somebody out to this big of an event before. It's like being at a concert, so it's a lot of fun for us too. <laughs> And whether the Chiefs won or not, for Betty, today was the dream of a lifetime. It puts us on the map. So I think it's well worth it. Betty is now living her final days in Adrian, Missouri. Her favorite player of all time, Super Bowl IV MVP, Lynn Dawson. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.